Now these tubes have spun for 10 minutes at 1600 RCF. And now we take them to our processing area. On this occasion our processing area is a biological safety cabinet. Hopefully we get some nice separation here. Uh, as you can see, we've got three fairly distinct layers. We have our plasma, we've got a very thin layer of buffy coat just there, and then uh, the rest of it, the red cells that we're going to get rid of. And the same again for this tube, separated very nicely. First of all we have the larger tube, this is going to be for our plasma. Bit of an annoying alarm there. Now, when drawing the plasma off of the top, you've got to be very careful not to disturb the buffy coat layer. It's just going nice and slow. to about half a mil there. So you can leave that there. The same again for the second tube. Just to pull off the plasma nice and carefully. Being careful not to disturb the buffy coat. One. The tube for our buffy coat. Probably just a fraction, fraction of a millimeter above it. Start pulling it up. You can move the tube around, so move the pipette around top just hovering above. I'm sure you can take up most of the buffy coat in about half a mil. And straighten. Take the buffy coat off of both of these. So again, hover just above. Feel free just to swirl the pipette around the top. Pulling up as much as you can the white cells. Avoiding too many of the red cells. As you can see, I've taken up a, a reasonable amount of red cells. However, there's mostly buffy coat in there, a little bit of plasma too. And that's how it's done.